you download the histogram cue card, you'll see on the left hand side is a zero, on the right hand side is 255. Now the best way to think about this is shades of grey. On the left hand side you've got absolute black, in the middle you've got mid grey, and on the right you've got absolute white. Now so the shadows are always in the black area, so you'll always have something that's black in the majority of landscape photos. Um, but not necessarily when you're photographing um, bridal wear or anything white, you obviously have no information here. All, all the histogram is, is a bar chart, that's all it is, a bar graph. Um, and if you add it up, every peak, in other words if this was 10 pixels, that peak, and that peak was 100 pixels, and that peak was 300 pixels, and that was 1000 pixels, if you added up all of the information it will come to the number of pixels that your camera sensor has. So working on most camera sensors are going beyond 20 megapixels now. Um, I'll, I'll work on 10 megapixels. So on the left hand side you can see here there's a tiny bit of black detail so even without seeing the photo I know that somewhere in that photo there's going to be a maximum black. On the right hand side you'll see there is actually no information at all. Let's see and have a look. There's no information in the pure white section so there isn't a pure white. Now everyone thinks that when you look at white, um, say it's somebody's white top, that it is always going to be pure white. In other words 255 which, which is no information at all pure white. Um, whereas the top will actually be, as you can see here, just a tiny little way in and it will have information because the top will have shades of grey, very very light shades of grey. So just looking at the histogram what you're looking for is to try and get the histogram so it represents what your photograph is in your head. Because most people think just keep it to the right and I teach everyone to keep it to the right just so they understand that if there's a white swan then you should have a little bit of information here because obviously it's a white swan. If the information is down here and you've got nothing here um, then it's obviously a grey swan now, a very light grey swan. So start to look at the histogram. Um, it's a bit of a learning curve but once you've got it you can work with the histogram from the very beginning in your camera through post-production all the way through to printing um, and it, it is going to be your your favourite tool to be honest. Um, it looks very complicated. Um, I'll try and do a few more videos on the histogram during Lightroom. You can see on the right, because all of this is shot in Lightroom, um, you'll see a big peak here. This is a histogram. And what that peak is showing is the right hand end. It's actually representing this picture. And that peak is this white. And as you can see, this isn't pure white, it's nearly white. Anyway, we'll leave it there for now and I'll do another one.